Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so I found another um, cool geometry problem and therefore part eight, yeah? Okay, now um, here we have that square ABCD has a side length of two and um, E and F are uh, midpoints of the sides AC and BD respectively, yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Um, additionally, uh, what's not in the writing of the question is clearly the fact that uh, this here is a portion of a quarter circle, right? Okay, all right. And the question is, uh, find uh, the length of segment HG right here, this little portion. So how do we do that? Well, um, here's how. First, uh, let's um, draw an extra segment that wasn't in this visual, uh, and that's this segment from A to H. And what can, what can we say about the segment from A to H? Um, it is that it is uh, a radius of the circle, and therefore it's of length 2, right? This here is length 2. And, of course, we have a right angle here, right, um, at E on either side of uh, the segment, right? Um, and, therefore, we have a right triangle right here uh, in triangle um, AEH, yeah? Okay, and so we say that uh, first... Um, before we show, we claim that uh, triangle AEH is a right triangle like we know it is, uh, let's acknowledge that AE is um, of length 1, and that's because we said E is a midpoint of AC, right? And AC is 2. Um, and then um, AH, as I've already said, is of length 2 because it's a radius of um, the circle, which is also the same as uh, one side of the square, as we can see here. Or here, right? Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. And so then uh, in the triangle that I said is right, which is AEH, we can use Pythagorean theorem to write this, which is 1 squared, um, that is AE squared, uh, plus uh, EH squared or HE squared, right? We'll have to equal 2 squared, which is AH squared, right? Okay, okay. And simplifying this um, means that HE is root 3, right? So we see that HE here is root 3. And uh, now uh, we're going to know that EG is equal to 1, right? And so we can find uh, the length of uh, HG, which is what we're after. But uh, before we say that uh, EG is 1, we must show that uh, G is um, a midpoint of uh, FE. How do we do that? Well, notice that triangle... BGF is congruent to triangle CGE, whereas BGF, BGF is this triangle here. This triangle is congruent to triangle CGE. And there are a number of ways um, that you could go about showing that that's true. Uh, but one of them is like you have vertical angles here, right? So those two angles are equal. And you know that, um, you know that like this angle here, uh, is equal to this angle by alternate uh, interior angles. And um, then what else do we know? Uh, we know that uh, this here is uh, equal to this here, right? So one way it, that you can prove the two triangles are congruent is uh, by side angle angle, right? By side angle angle, these two triangles are congruent. And of course, that means that their corresponding parts are equal. And so that means EG is equal to uh, GF. And since uh, EF is equal to 2, then that means that EG is equal to 1. And this is like uh, all the justification we need. EG is equal to 1 from everything I just said. And therefore, HG, which is this little piece, has got to be uh, HE, which we found was root 3, minus uh, GE or EG, which is 1, and therefore root 3 minus 1. Yeah? All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, root 3 is about 1.7, so root 3 minus 1 is about 0.7, um, in case you're, like, dying in curiosity what the approximate value is. Um, keep watching, and, uh, yeah, take care.